Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of ChatGPT Decides My Sims Build. I asked ChatGPT to give me seven different pieces of information to go into building my Sims build. I'll get into those in a little bit, but essentially what it asked me to build was a beachfront villa. So let's hop in. I'll show you the villa and what ChatGPT told me to build. ChatGPT is such a hard word to say. It is a tongue twister. Y'all gotta try saying that. Okay, here we go. Let's dive in. And here is ChatGPT's gorgeous beachfront villa. What I want to do is preface it with the seven things that ChatGPT told me to incorporate into the build. Okay, so the first thing I asked it to tell me is to decide a world or environment to build in and the beach island vibe won that contest. So here we are in the wonderful world of Sulani. Number two was the type of build and obviously is a beachfront villa. Number three was style and architecture. And for this one, it told me to build a contemporary tropical style to use stucco walls, natural stone and wood, which you'll find throughout the build and large floor to ceiling panoramic windows, which you'll also find. Number four was the floor plan. So it asked for on the first floor, a grand foyer, a living room, a sprawling patio, state of the art kitchen, a dining area, um, a courtyard, and then a guest bedroom, a bathroom, and an office. So this was a big build, as you can see. It did not hold back. The second floor was asking for a primary bedroom with a luxurious spa bathroom, a soaking tub and a walk-in shower, and a balcony overlooking the ocean, two guest bedrooms, and then my favorite, a cozy reading nook. And then floor number three, which is my favorite floor, which you can see on top of the roof right there, is the rooftop terrace. Okay, so number five was the color scheme. For this, it asked for soft whites and sandy beiges with accents of aqua, blue, and sea foam green. Number six was landscape. So this one was pretty easy, tropical foliage and palm trees. And then seven was anything additional to add to the build to make it interesting, and it asked for a lot. It asked for a home theater, a gym, and a game room. So I had to put that um, on the second floor. So you'll see that. And then it went off the walls and asked for an entire guest villa. So there is a complete separate building in the backyard of this property. All right, so let's dive in and do the tour. So this is the front. It's pretty simple, pretty sleek, pretty clean. We've got our tropical foliage. We have a nice little pond slash spring right there. And it's looking sleek and pretty. And then you'll see this thing right here is the grand foyer. So let's go inside. Welcome to my crib. So this is the grand foyer. You walk in, you can immediately tell it's a beach vibe, but it's also very luxurious. We've got some really cool wicker rugs, which you'll find throughout the house. We've got some shoe stands, umbrella stands. We got cool benches to sit down and put your shoes on um, and lots of little tropical details. Then we move in through these sliding glass doors and we go into the wonderful living room. So since this was a beach house, I didn't want to put a TV in it. I wanted people to come here, live in the moment, be with their friends and family. So no TV, we just got a little stereo system for dancing. Um, and then a gorgeous sectional, very sleek, very modern. We've got some pompous grass here. And then you'll see over here, I did a little nook to sit down and I found like a more private area to sit and kind of talk with someone. Got some storage over here. And then we got the staircase that goes up to the second floor. If you make your way this way through the archway, you'll find our state-of-the-art kitchen. It is absolutely ginormous. We have a really professional stove right here. We've got a nice island for doing some entertaining. We've got a whole fridge here. Um, toaster oven, coffee machine, you name it. It's, it's got everything you could possibly need. And then we have this open space over here that opens up into the dining room with a very long um, a dining table to host a lot of people. I picture the people that live in this house, you know, are very wealthy. They have a huge family and they just come here to have a good time, relax and, you know, do beach things. Let's make our way upstairs to the second floor. Okay, so once you make your way upstairs, there's a very long hallway. We've got the primary bedroom here with the uh, ensuite bathroom. We have one, two guest bedrooms over here. We have a tiny little bathroom at the end of the hallway. Um, we have our reading nook here. We've got our gym, game room, and home theater here. So let's jump into the primary bedroom. This is the gorgeous primary bedroom. It has a nice big bed, 
with a gorgeous view of the ocean. Look at that. And they even have their own private balcony here to sit, read a book, drink a cup of coffee, chat through the sunset, and stare out at the beautiful ocean. Like, who wouldn't want to do that, right? It looks beautiful. We've got their ensuite bathroom over here, nice big tub and showers. Then over here, I feel like this is where the kids will hang out. This is the game room, the gym, and the movie theater. So definitely a cool spot to hang. Coming down the hallway, we have our little book nook, which is probably my favorite room in the whole house. I would love to just lay here with a good book, a view of the ocean, and just be surrounded by other books and just get all cozy. I love this room so much. And then we've got our two guest bedrooms here with a little shared bathroom. This house is so big that I forgot the whole right side of the first floor. So let's go back downstairs and I'll show you the right side of the house. So we have an archway here that opens up into the hallway and goes into the kids room. But before that, I have two doors on either side. Um, one goes to a bathroom that is shared by the kids room. And then we also have a home office as well. Okay, popping upstairs, you might have noticed that to the right of the book nook, we have a little door here and a stairway, and that brings us up to the rooftop terrace, which is probably my second favorite piece of the house. We have a gorgeous terrace complete with a hot tub, grill, bar, and lounge chairs. A perfect way to spend the day or party through the night. I love it. Like, who wouldn't want to party? Again, at sunset and just vibe out into the night like come on okay so now we're popping outside and there's a lot of different ways you can get outside you can come out the sliding doors from the living room you can come out the sliding doors from the kids room or you can come out from the dining room if you do come out from the living room we have a little cozy fireplace area here to chat with some friends hang out you know the dining room is really cool because it brings us out into this beautiful courtyard so you can see some tropical plants. Um, just a really cool vibey space. I would love to like throw a towel down, read a book, a vibe out there. We have a gorgeous infinity pool that is right in the back of the house. Not a huge pool, but it's perfectly sized, I think. We have awesome seating here, umbrellas, and you, again, get an awesome view of the ocean. And then the last piece of the house is that guest villa that ChatGPT asked us to build. So I did a little tiny house and it's pretty much got everything you could possibly need. It's got a bedroom, a little kitchenette, and then um, some bathroom pieces here. So it's got everything you can need. So you can have a lot of people over at this house. Um, and that's what I like picture this house to be just, you know, a, a big family that invites friends over and some other family and just has a great, wonderful time in the island of Sulani. I'm popping in post-production, I'm currently editing right now, but I did wanna say, if you liked this video, I did another ChatGPT build, and I'll link it in the screen above, it's probably on screen right now, but that one was more of like a creative, out there, bizarre, fun, magical, fantasy type of build. So if you are into that and you like this video, you'll probably really like that one, so gonna link that okay bye so that was my build i thought chat gpt did pretty well i enjoyed making it i thought it was fun and pretty and i would love to live here okay thanks for watching and have a great rest of your afternoon yep no <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying have a great rest of your day bye